heard about the Alliance program through my advisor at George Mason University because he's the head of the LSAM program for us. We always know what's going on, we always know when to apply for everything, and he really tracks us down to make sure that we do apply before the deadline. Hello, I'm Dr. Marcus L. Martin. I'm the principal investigator of the Virginia North Carolina Alliance. We are part of the National Science Foundation's Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation. I'm Kristen Morgan, the program director for the Virginia North Carolina Alliance. The Alliance is a consortium of schools across North Carolina and Virginia, including Bennett College for Women, Elizabeth City State University, George Mason University, Johnson C. Smith University, St. Augustine's College, the University of Virginia, Virginia Commonwealth University, Virginia Tech, and more recently, Piedmont Virginia Community College. The Virginia North Carolina Alliance Summer Research Program is a collaboration amongst faculty members here at the University of Virginia, particularly in the Center for the Chemistry of the Universe, which is now known as Astrochemistry, Systems Engineering, and Biology, as well as the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. I had a wonderful opportunity in industry performing research every summer. That opportunity helped me to socialize and acclimate in the sciences and further my academics. The main agreement that we have is that astrochemistry at the University of Virginia will be able to work very closely with NRO scientists, scientific staff, and engineers in order to provide a very unique learning opportunity for the students. The Virginia North Carolina Alliance students who are in this astrochemistry summer research program are able to prepare proposals for what is called director discretionary time on instruments like the Green Bank Telescope. So there's a very close connection between the students and NRO scientific staff to give them the most opportunity to do research with our facilities. We have one encompassing project that we ask all the students to work on and push different aspects of it. And so uh, in our case, this involves collaborations between astronomers and chemists. We have a spectroscopy group and we have an instrumentation group. And this summer, they're all working towards looking at uh, how nitrile uh, chemistry occurs in space. With a group, like it's more entertaining, it's fun. You're still getting the work done. You learn to really collaborate. Um, so in the astronomy group, we talk to the chemistry groups a lot. You have to give data, take data. You learn to present in front of people. Every week we had a small presentation um, to let everybody know where we are, and that has made me much more comfortable. Yeah, we're trying to understand the chemistry behind the formations of molecules in space, and so we observe them in our lab. And hopefully, if we find a molecule that's energetically feasible, we work with astronomers. So we take a molecule and it gets pulsed to the spectrometer. If it's an electrical discharge, and that creates radicals, so it's pieces of a whole. And then they recombine to create a new molecule, which we're then able to graph or measure, because each molecule has a specific, I guess, transition. It's like a thumbprint or a fingerprint. Each one is unique to each molecule. My research project is dealing with nitriles and the chemical reactions that they undergo. Um, we only look at them in the lab, and it's different than the interstellar medium. But hopefully by seeing if they are in the interstellar medium, and we just kind of think that what happens in the lab happens in space. I love how this program goes, because it's fun all the time, because you're with these people for eight weeks. It's such a small group. Like, you really get to know each person. And then you're with them when you're working. You're with them when you're home. And then the grad students are really nice. They're helpful. They're just teaching you all these things. So you're getting the fun of being with people who become really good friends and probably going to be like lifelong friends with at least some of these people. And then you're just learning a lot from the grad students and it's just been really entertaining. Like I said, I've learned about spectroscopy. My favorite experience this summer was getting an email message that came at four o'clock in the morning from a group of students that were so dedicated to working on a proposal they stayed up all night to write it. Towards regions such as Sagittarius B2 North, we need to investigate possible formation pathways of nitriles and investigate these pathways towards to other astron astronomical sources. This was actually accepted just last night by yeah. the clock. So, <laughs> so we're going to Green Bank. <laughs> we need to uh, work on scheduling that time so we can use it. And you know, we wrote a proposal to do something that has not been done before. This is the first time it's going to be done. Um, and so I really didn't expect to actually be doing that. And as you can see, that puts a smile on my face. So we wrote a proposal. And we were actually awarded time. Um, we were awarded time um, on Sunday, last Sunday, at 6 a.m. So we were up really early. 
As a chemist, um, being able to study these reactions in space, it kind of slows things down and you can see intermediate steps. On Earth, everything goes really, really quickly. Um, and in space, it's really slow. So if you can understand it in space, maybe you can understand it here on Earth a little bit better. Imagine, you're driving the car, you listen to country music, you're like, you know what, I don't listen to country music, listen to some jazz. So, so say that the jazz station's on 99.5. And you ever notice like when you get to like 99.2, 99.3, you kind of hear the radio station, but you also hear a lot of noise? Okay, so let's substitute that radio station without data, mixed with that noise. We don't want that. And we have our spectrum diagram of whatever molecule that we're looking at, we get that to the astronomers, and it's a good day. Sometimes, you know, when we're doing our work, we have to do our work individually, but when we're working on a spectrometer, it's funds and laughs, funds and laugh, telling jokes, but, you know, being serious about the work but, you know, you have to have, you know, fun. You have to have, you know, at a good time in doing it. I was interested in astronomy and I was interested in chemistry. I never saw how the two related together until this program. So it was really eye-opening for me and it's got me interested in a graduate school program, maybe in astrochemistry. The laboratory in the summer is just a crazy wild place with people running around and talking about all kinds of new things. And my graduate students have come to really appreciate the summer as the time where we all get together, think about new ideas. Our goal is really to, to provide a graduate level research experience for these students who are early career undergraduates. We look to bring them in through the Alliance schools and give them an idea of what a life in science might be. I share my office actually with another grad student. I always like pick his brain on you know, what he went through to get to graduate school, the application process, how he found the professor. Talk to the grad students, like getting to know them and seeing how their everyday life is to see if I can picture myself doing that for five to six years. Then hear them talking about defending their thesis. And she allowed me to come in and sit on the presentation. She went through it. Um, they asked her very tough, challenging questions. Um, and then they excused us and kind of spoke amongst themselves, the committee, and then invited her back in and told her that she was approved and she was able to get her degree. School is very, it's very rough and it's such a large portion of your life. You have to make sure that you really like what you're doing. I knew I was going to go to graduate school, but this kind of like, you know, adds to it, like why I need to go, why I think my research ideas would impact the world.